Merry, merry, hairy and scary. How does your garden grow? Better than yours, old scab. What? I've got two green thumbs. <laughs> oh, no! It's the weed-feeding, slug-baggy old bat woman. The old witch! Beat it, Jack. <laughs> Snake plants. Nightshade. And my personal favorite, Witch Hazel. Ah, you just destroyed my merry ghouls and morning gories. Tough cookies, Crypty. What do you call a boat full of vampires? A blood vessel. <laughs> Couldn't be more right. You feed the birdies, Crypty, while I. Aha! Today we have a worm hearted, tender little love story. It's about a young plant enthusiast named Wendell who had a special place in his heart for Venus fly traps. I call it growing pains. Continue our study of the Dionia Nucipula. I'm not absent, Mrs. Katz! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Just late. <laughs> For the third time this week. If science is your favorite subject, Wendell, why are you so consistently late for my class? Due to a situation beyond my control, Mrs. Katz. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Now, can anyone tell me about the Dionia Musipula? Yes? Uh, the... the Dionia Musipula is more commonly known as the, the Venus flytrap. <gasps> It's a carnivorous plant that feeds on insects by trapping them and slowly sucking the juices out of them alive. Ew. What's that? Ew. Would you like to hear more? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, um, uh, yes. Oh, um. uh, I, I think we've heard enough. Uh, thank you, Rose.
the new girl. <gasps> you nearly scared me to death. Well, I would never want to scare you. Not just because you're asthmatic. I mean, not only because you have asthma. I mean, uh, uh, I was just collecting specimens for my science project. I tripped. I'm sorry. I was most impressed by your knowledge of the Dionia muscipula. The Venus flytrap is one of my favorite plants. Mine, too! Oh, wow! Is this great or what? So, uh, can I walk you home, Rose? No! I mean, I'll be fine by myself. W what was that? I was about to ask you the same thing. Uh, maybe we should, uh, walk each other home. Good idea. There's something after us, isn't there? Just keep moving, and don't look back. Come on, this way. I've got you! Stop! Come on, Rose, just a little further. Uh, I think we scared him, Louie. <laughs> Yeah, we sure did. I bet you thought we were some kind of big hand monster or something. <laughs> this time you two have gone too far. You've pushed me over the edge. Your anguished cries and pleas for mercy fall on deaf ears. I am no longer responsible for my actions. You two are nothing but uncouth near do wells whose only reason for being is to plague innocence with your mindless juvenile pranks and Stone Age humor! Huh? The truth hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Wendell! Are you okay, Rose? Me? Never mind me. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for the strong language back there, but when I saw how badly they frightened you, well, I guess I snapped. Well, here we are. Neat house. You really think so? Yeah, it has a certain, uh, creepiness. I like that in a house. Well, I guess I should go. Rose, I know we haven't known each other very long, but, uh, well, could you, would you be my science partner? I'd, I'd love to, Wendell. Uh, together, I'm certain we could get a report published in Scientific America, and... I said yes. <gasps> See you tomorrow, science partner. I have to admit, Wendell, we're quite the team. No fooling, Rose. I had no idea our cross-pollinating hybrids would be so radically diverse. I say a lot of the credit goes to your father's fertilizer. Give me that! Stick in some of those new plants we dug up, Louie. <laughs> sure thing, Chet. And you sprinkle them with some of the Nerdette's fertilizer. Aw, oh, look! We used it all up. Okay, Chet, there's more where that came from. Those are very healthy-looking rust toxicodendron specimens, Louie. Rusty what? Rust toxicodendron. We use up their stuff, and they even make us a sign? What a pair of double-decker dweebs. <laughs> 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 An entire terrarium full of 
Poison Ivy! <laughs> They'll be scratching for months! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come in? Does a clematis like acidic soil? <laughs> I'd love to meet your parents. I don't think they're home right now. Wow! Have a seat, Wendell. I'll get us something to drink. Make mine a double. <laughs> H, that is, with lots of O. One water coming up. <laughs> I wonder what's out there. Huh? are you? What are you doing here, trying to spy? Go away, leave us alone. Do not meddle in things you know nothing about. Yes, well, uh, pleased to meet you, too. I'm Wendell. Nice, uh, kerchief. And Fern! I'm terribly sorry, Wendell. Whoa! That's my Aunt Fern. She's usually napping around now. I don't think she likes me. Go away! It's not that. It's just, well, uh, she's old and suspicious and... And maybe you should come back some other time. See you tomorrow, Rose. I meant what I said about the kerchief. Go away! She's warming up. Bye, Wendell. Definitely warming up. Rose, Wendell, congratulations. A plus. <laughs> this is, without a doubt, the most beautiful, meticulous, well-executed project it has ever been my pleasure to grade. Which brings us to you two. F. Minus. Not our fault, Mrs. Katz. And stop scratching. Guess nobody's home. <gasps> You're gonna be sorry now, Wendell! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Up there! Whoa. Uh. Wow! You get him that way, I'll get him this way. Keep your eye out for any of that rusty taxi stuff, Chet. <laughs> you too. <gasps> Chet? Again, Wendell. <laughs> <laughs> You're in big trouble, Wendell. Whoa! Wendell? Wendell? 
Boy, does your dad ever have some neat plants? Hey, maybe this is a good time to introduce me to your folks. Uh, they're not home. What were you doing in the garden, Wendell? Uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow night at the flower show. The flower show? Yes, at the Horticultural Center. I came to invite you to go with me. Like a date? No, just a, well... Can't friends just go somewhere together? That depends on what my parents say. I'll ask them. Great, but do me a favor. Don't ask Aunt Fern. I had a wonderful time at the flower show, Wendell. So did I, Rose. Know what the prettiest flower was? The lilies? No, a rose. Wendell, I should explain about my parents. They're a little weird. All parents are weird, Rose. Ah! We got some unfinished business with you two. Wendell? Hi, guys. So, uh, what do you think about the possibility of, you know, maybe leaving us alone? <laughs> Not this time, Wendell. We haven't had the opportunity to thank you. <laughs> yeah, for the poison ivy, the F minus, and the garden party. My inhaler! I. I must have left it at home. This is an emergency. Rose has to get home right now. Nice try, Wendo. <laughs> yeah, but we don't buy it. She's faking. Yeah, I know faking when I see it. Just look at her. This is serious. Let her go. I'll stay. Do what you want. Just let her go. I don't think so. Oh, run, Rose. Run. Ah! Not so fast. I have to get home. Please. Don't you want to stick around to see if you won the Academy Award? You have to let me past. I'm warning you. Hear that, Wendo? Your girlfriend's warning us. Ouch! She's got a thorn or something stuck in her... I told you to let me go. No! No! Please no! or Wendell, or any other nerd ever again! <laughs> we'll never pick flowers, or step on grass, or... Ah! Oh! Oh! Wendell? Wow! Is this great or what? As you may have guessed by now, Wendell, we're, well, plants. I live on plants, but plants nonetheless. I knew it the first time I laid eyes on him. You see, dear, our species has evolved far beyond our peers. We are even able to take on human form. With the help of a special enzyme inside the inhaler. He's a good boy, this Wendell. I told you I had a weird family. Weird, no. Different, yes. <clears throat> Edie. How is that, Lindell? Eat up, you won't get any dessert. Do you have a napkin? Do you want a napkin? Oh, we don't need napkins. <laughs> ah, romance. <laughs> That's a story that really grows on you. Like a what? Sorry about the slim pickings, fellas. Looks like we may be in for a shower. Perhaps some hail. Or maybe even... A three-bedroom fully detached bungalow. What is this, an eclipse or something? Who turned out the lights? So, you see, 
Even though Wendell's date turned out to be divine, it didn't soil the relationship. <laughs> Besides, Rose's family wasn't that different. You expecting any more tornadoes? Dig you later! I 